Hey guys, my name is Bedbrick Studios, and today I'm going to be making a review of the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron, the Nerdcracker. Now, here's a funny story about how I had ended up getting this guy. At the time, or actually right now, I have money saved up so that I can get Grappling Hoist to update my G1 versions for my stop motion series. And... I have that money saved up, so I can't buy anything else. Well, I had a really, really late birthday party. My birthday is supposed to be in August, and a few days ago I had my party. And I got 20 bucks from both of my friends who came. So, with that, I got Voyager Class Thundercracker. Thundercracker in his alt mode turns into a Cybertronian Tetrajet. As you can see, battle damage all over the wings at the front. Got the biggest complaint for all people. Ooh, his chest is on the back. That's stupid. I don't honestly care. It's fine. At least you're getting a good figure. He's got a nice curve to his wings and stuff. Got the null rays. They plug in on the bottom of the wings, or you can do the shoulders, or even on the elbows of the arms. There's multiple different ways you can put it. Obviously, it's just a Tetra Jet with a robot underneath it. Just. A uh, pretty good complaint to me. I personally don't mind it. I don't get Voyager class that often. I only have Prime Onslaught, um, Megatron, and now this guy. Soon Grapple. So, yeah. Pretty good figure. Um, that's about it for vehicle mode. Now for transformation. I'm just going to take and remove the null rays. Put those off to the side. Go to the back. From tab to the cab of the figure. Brings me to my major complaint. This thing falls off all the time. I know you can mod it to have a pin in there. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have the resources to. Yeah. Move that chest out. Take this top piece. Hold it up. Go to the wings. Tab it from the arms and over here. We'll just fold up. Some on the other side. Like that. Then. You're going to want to separate the arms. Fold out the legs. You have this neat system on the back of them. Let's have these spring out. Which they didn't even have to do, but they just did it anyway. It's really cool. <sighs> Rotate the waist. And he begins to become a tall boy. Then uh, you're gonna wanna um, go to the back here, like fold down the torso, and that will push up the head. And also, you should have this back head tab put into place. And then just fold that back. 
Go to the arms. Hold them open. Pull out the thing, hand. Extend arm. Like so. Same on the other side. Open it up, fold out the hand, extend the arm. You don't want to tab in the chest all the way. It lines up pretty good with the waist. Then to this back part. Separate that. And fold it all the way up. And there you have Thundercracker in his robot mode. Now, in his robot mode, he is a pretty good figure. I'd honestly rate this like um, 7 out of 10. He isn't the best. Because of the fact um, that his, his ports and stuff, like these shoulder ports, which are really important for putting the null rays, are super short unless you have them forward at the right angle, which can easily be knocked out of position and just fall out. But you can't get them in there. That's my only main gripe with this figure and the torso piece on tabbing. Other than that, it's really good. No loose joints so far, as I just got this guy. He's got that smirk. It's also light piped. People keep saying that this is more like a Starscream merc smirk and I generally agree with that, but I don't have the Starscream figure. This, is, in fact, is my first taste at ever getting a Seeker figure. My closest Seeker, my closest thing to a Seeker before this was, um, Combiner Wars Blast Off. Or Skytread from Siege. Which aren't really Seekers. They're just planes. He's got this guy is really cool. He's got a lot of joints, so he's extremely poseable. What well, you can do a bunch of things like pointing and shooting with small rays. Since these joints are so weak, I like to plug them into the forearms, which have much, much tighter tabs. So you can have him firing upon the Autobots. Flying up all up in the sky. Shooting. You can bend his head back to make it look like he's looking forward while he flies like really fast through the air. Swoosh. Overall, really poseable. You can get an easy superhero pose. Although, that is hard on your knees, you know. Deadpool reference. For size comparisons, here we have my only other Siege Voyager class, Megatron. He scales pretty well, I'd say. He is a little less bulky, 
but that really does fill in for the amount of wing mass he has. And then the Lamborghini mold. It should be pretty common since it did get two retail releases. Sorry about that. I was trying to move the figures out of the way and I damaged my stand. Yeah, sorry about that. So, this figure overall, pretty good figure. Nice big Voyager class. My first taste of getting like a seeker. I'd honestly say it's pretty cool. Great transformation, great articulation. Even it has wrist swivel for gosh sake. You wouldn't think there'd be wrist swivel when it folds out like that. You'd think it would just fold around to go into the inside, but it actually opens up to do that, which is way cooler. So, pretty good figure. I think you should get him. If you can. If you have no seekers, this is definitely not the best way to start. You should probably start with a star screen, but this guy is the only one in store. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.